Let me tell you about the time that their shower was draining into the crawl space for who knows how long. This shower drain was not strapped, therefore it was able to slide right out of that compression on this no caulk shower drain, which are great if used right, but in this case, I'm going to remove it and swap it out with an OD solvent weld shower drain because I know it's not going to leak, it's not going to have any issues, and I won't get any callback because there's nothing worse than that, am I right? But once I get it disconnected from underneath, which was way too easy, I go up top to prepare the new drain. As you can see, they used putty. Now, now, I was always taught putty as well. That is what I have always used. Though after doing some research and talking to other plumbers, it may seem that silicone is the best option. So I'm gonna give it a try. I haven't really ever had issues with putty, but I'm always open to new things, trying new things out and improving what I do. So once I prepped the top space, I go back down to glue on the shower drain. Now I probably could have done this before I went up, but I needed to get my steps in for the day. So that's my excuse. This is an easy repair being in a crawl space because I can just glue the shower drain on from underneath and put the gasket on from down here and then just tie in once I go up top. What a second person help? Sure, it would make it a little bit easier but it's definitely not necessary and once you work by yourself enough you just get used to doing things a certain way where you, you can physically do it by yourself a helper would definitely make things easier so i'm assuming most of you are looking for a job because it seems you have nothing better to do than hate on people on the internet hit me up i'll definitely not hire you i'm kidding i'm kidding totally kidding i fully understand if you want to post your own work on the internet you got to be open to the scrutiny it is par for the course and i'm totally cool with that and i will say i've actually learned a lot from people's comments whether they be positive or negative I try and take what people say and use it to get better, make my job faster, easier, whatever it may be. Some people may just not necessarily know how to do that in a positive way, but hey, we're all learning. We all make mistakes. Just like I did while trying to tie this shower drain in, I dipped my thumb right in the silicone, making things messy for no reason. And since I'm using silicone in this, save this video and come back in 15 years and I'll give you an update if it has leaked yet or not. So I'll see you in 15 years and we'll figure out if this was the right choice over putty. These drains are really easy to install. That bracket makes it easy to tighten it down. And it's funny because I was asked if I've ever dropped it down the drain before. And I said no, because I've never dropped those. But I almost did just there. If it didn't get stuck on my screwdriver, it would have definitely fallen in the drain. Which wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would add some time to fish it out. Also, I like to spray caulking or silicone with Windex. It helps give it a nice clean wipe away. But once I get that cleaned up, I can put the cover on and then check for leaks. And that's all there is to it. And since it didn't leak, I'm on to the next one. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.